Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I do these videos to educate women on their health, hormones, and how to align your food to your hormones and your cycle. Um, I am the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. It talks all about how to match your food, the regular food that's in your kitchen right now, to each week throughout the month to really align with your hormones and leverage them to increase your metabolism, to get the most out of your body. So if you have not checked this out and read it, do it. I also have a podcast, The Female Health Solution, which is everywhere podcasts can be listened to. Um, I interview a lot of really great people and experts in their field, all about issues for women. So check that out. There's a lot of really great episodes on there already. And I've got some amazing ones coming up that I'm really excited about. Um, today, I wanted to talk about, you know, are these symptoms that I'm having from my hormones? Um, because some of the ones I've listed here, you might think, oh yeah, duh, obviously, that, of course that's, you know, of course that's for my hormones. But for some women, they don't realize that some symptoms that are associated with these are actually related to hormonal issues that they're having. Um, and it can be really, 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 really frustrating. A lot of women will have something shift and change in their body, and all of a sudden you're like, okay, I don't know what's happening, but a couple of years ago, I could shift and change what I was doing. I could tweak my nutrition and boom, there goes my result. I could, I could totally do it. And now nothing I'm doing is working. I feel like I'm stuck in this body that's not mine. And you know what? I totally agree with you. When your hormones are not working for you, you can't do anything, right? You're just like, I, no matter what I do, nothing's changing, right? So when we look at some of the issues that women have with hormones, right? I put some of the obvious ones up here because these are the ones that women are like, yes, right? I totally get it. Weight gain, you know, and this is just not just, oh, I'm gaining weight. This is weight that like kind of creeps up on you. And you're like, I don't understand. I'm eating healthy. I'm working out. I'm not like diving into a pie every night. What the heck? Mm -hmm. It is just weight that just comes on for no reason. And then you get this tire around your midsection, which for women, that's hormonal weight gain. And then you can't, use, you can't lose it. You just can't take it off. No matter what you do, how hard you work. I mean, you eat super clean. If you eat a salad, you're going to store that salad. Yes. Right? Sheila, um, all of the above. Yes. 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 Yeah. I just got done with football practice, which is, I, this is like my hair in a helmet. This is helmet hair. So attractive, in case you're wondering. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes, so weight gain and the inability to lose weight. So that's one of those things. And it's one of those things where if you, you feel like you're like kind of going crazy about it, you're like, I don't even know what to do next. You know, it's my stress levels, they're off the charts, my immune system isn't responding, I've got bloat, I've got digestive issues, Whew. all hormonally related all of it, right? It's a lot of times we're told and kind of taught to look at our system, you know, in terms of just our reproductive organs and just that area. And it's so much more than that. Your hormones go into your bloodstream and go everywhere in your body and affect everything in your system. Everything, head to toe, all of it, right? So of course, if something is off, you're going to feel off all over the place, right? Fatigue. This is not just, oh, I'm kind of tired. Blah, blah, blah. This is, I get so exhausted that I can't, you know, get to the gym. I can't even get through a normal workout. I'm way too fatigued. I'm fatigued just going to the grocery store and trying to do grocery shopping and then bringing them home and, and unloading the groceries. That makes me so tired, right? That's, that's crazy. Hormones stink. <laughs> Sheila says hormones stink. That's funny. Um, Krista, everything but the hot flashes. Yes, right? Like so many of these issues women have. So fatigue is like total body exhaustion. Like, holy cow, I just did this normal activity and I completely wiped out of it. It's like all the energy just gets sucked out of your body. Mm -hmm. That is hormones. That's your body not being able to respond, regulate, and have them be at an even level that they should be at in your system. Mood swings. So again, imagine all of these things going on. You're gaining weight. You can't figure out how to lose it. And you're exhausted, totally exhausted. You're not going to be the most cheerful person in the world, right? Mm -mm. No, of course not. Of course not. But the other thing is, is that no matter how hard you try to, this is one of those things where it's like, you're not going to be able to control your moods. This isn't like, oh, just meditate and center yourself. Oh, get to a happy place and you'll be fine. No, this is like, it's like somebody else is in the driver's seat. And you, you can't control where this car is going. But you're in and you're stuck and it's taking you right? That is, that is really what's happening here with these mood swings. 
and it's things that's like you're like I, I know this isn't bothering me or I know this isn't whatever like for me when I get in when my hormones are a little off and it's so funny and I always notice this at a certain like time point in my in my cycle just like one day one day and my husband is very supportive he's a wonderful man like he's so like all the love in the world right but he will get like really close to me and I'll be like you just have to back away I just can't have you like within five feet of me today just today just just without five, five feet radius buddy <laughs> and it's just the funniest thing but those are the different type of things where I'm like I know this isn't rational I know yesterday this was totally fine but today it is just pissing me off what the heck mm -hmm. mood swings that you can't control and we like we all get it we all get those things where it's like it's like something's already irritated in your system right so it's you know you always have this this like little thing going on so like that one little one little more drop in the bucket it's like putting a lit match in a bucket of gasoline yeah yeah not good and then PMS and cycle issues now this can be very very vast in terms of what PMS is um, PMS is not a normal thing to have PMS is not a normal thing to have. PMS is not a normal thing to have. Women are told that this is normal because so many women have cycle and hormone issues that we're told, oh, you should be crampy and bloating and feel like a complete ugh, like slob of a person that can't fit into your pants for a whole week before your period. No, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, right? That's a big issue, right? Cycle issues meaning like you have heavy cycle, it's too long, it's really irregular, you don't know when it's coming, there's clots, there's all these things, it's very painful, right? That's too much inflammation. And then even if you're, you know, at this phase of life where you're having hot flashes or things like that, where again, something is really off in your body and you're like, I don't even know where to, I don't even know where to turn. I'm taking these supplements or I'm doing these things or I'm trying, like, right? Because women, we're fixers, right? If there's a problem, we're like, I'm not just going to sit around and like suck it up. You're like, I'm going to try and get to the bottom of this. And then sometimes whatever you're looking at, whatever you try, you're like trying these supplements or trying this. Oh, look, I heard this vegetable is really good for this. Or I heard this supplement's really good. I'm going to try this. And it doesn't seem to be really working and going in sometimes and seeing your practitioner and talking to them and be like, oh, well, that was, you know, that was, you know, not something that's going to work or it's just your phase of life. Just suck it up. There it is. That's your life now. Oh, how disappointing, right? How disappointing? No, no, it's not normal to have your hormones be off, right? And there are so many things you can do to help regulate it. There are so many things you can do to take back that control. There are so many things you can do to really boost your metabolism, to really push it forward, to leverage your hormones, to help them work harder for you so that you're not sitting there stuck like, I don't even know what to do next. You'll, you know, so I have a 12 week program. We are starting our next round on March 1st. So if you are looking at up leveling what you're doing, aligning with your hormones, really boosting your metabolism and taking care of all of these issues and more, this is gonna be the right program for you. You are gonna love all the information you're gonna learn because what I talk about on social media, what I have on my YouTube channel, just a tiny drop of the bucket and all the content that is loaded in there. You are gonna learn so much more about hormones, your body, your system, everything, nutrition, how to align for things. And more importantly, going through this program, you are going to get your hormones on a more regular pattern. Your body is gonna start responding better than it has, has before. You are starting to get energy, right? I just talked to some gal that she was like, oh my gosh, I, this was this morning. I had a call with a gal this morning who's in the, in, um, had started the last round of, of the program that I did. She was like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I have got so much more energy. I am so much stronger than I was. She's like, I didn't even know that I could get that much stronger. She's amazing. She's like, I feel so good now. I feel so, so good now. She's losing a ton of inches. Everything is just like melting off of her. And she's like, this is ridiculous. I feel like I'm not really doing anything that magical. She's like, maybe it really just is eating for my hormones. So it's like, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It really, really is. Aligning with your body, getting it to function better, helps it feel better. When you function better, you feel better. And that's the really big key thing. It's not about depletion. It's not about cutting out more calories. It's about getting your body the nutrients it needs at the right time. Because as women, we're, all, we're always looking for things, right? Looking for things out there, trying different nutrition plans, which is not a bad thing, but they're all things that are meant for men. So we're really just missing out on the key things that are actually going to make it be more effective in our bodies and in our systems. 
So that's what I take you through in the 12 week program. So what I'll do is I'll put a link below this video. If you've got questions, if you need more information, if you are looking for something to really take all of the effort that you've been putting and actually get you higher level results, this is the program for you. So I'll put that, um, Sheila's saying, or cutting out food groups, right? Oh my gosh. Yes, Sheila, you should not be cutting out food groups. Please don't cut out food, food groups. Macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbs are necessary for your survival. Yes. That's how the body works. <laughs> um, so I'll put a link below this video. If you have questions, if you've been struggling with something like this and you're like, yes, oh my gosh, I need more help with this. This is going to change everything for you. I will be more than happy to chat with you to help you navigate this, give you some great next steps and to see, you know, if you're looking at jumping into the program that we're starting on March 1st, um, then that's going to be an amazing, amazing thing to get started on. All right. I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your night.